This is the most efficient way I know how to grade in Canvas. Let me show you how it's done. This method of grading is going to rely on rubrics and it's going to rely on speed grader. We can use it in assignments and we can use it in discussions. I'll show you both today. It's really about lowering your workload so that you can get all the grading done and have a life. So I'm in assignments right now, so we can handle rubrics within assignments. We don't have to be in the rubrics tool. We can be in assignments. I'm in assignments and I'm going to add one to my rubrics and speed grader assignment. So all you're going to do is just click on the title of it. Okay, so we're in the view screen. I did not go to the edit settings screen. So we're just in the normal view screen by clicking on the title. And then I have a rubric button in the lower right. So I'm going to add a rubric there. We can add a title. I'm not going to ask you to watch me to do that. And then we have our criteria and our performance levels. They call them ratings. So um, I can click on the little pencil icon for this criteria. I can change the name of it. I can also put in a brief description. If I want to add a second criteria, I can do so. Same thing. Okay. And then you have your performance level ratings. So this one's currently worth five points. I could click on the little pencil icon for it, change its value, change the title of it. Maybe you want it to be advanced versus proficient, needs work, and then you can describe that performance level rating. Okay. Um, if you need to add new performance levels in between, so this is go jumping from five points to zero points. If I need somewhere in the middle, I just click the little red plus sign, put a new one in there. Yep. I'm not going to have you watch me make a whole rubric, so let's do the cooking show trick, and we'll just pull something out that's been cooking in the oven. And our oven in this case is this find a rubric button here. This is You're going to like this. So now I have access to every rubric I've ever made for all of my classes. This whole rubric thing could become a workload in itself and I don't want that to happen. So if you just make a couple really good rubrics that you can use in all of your classes, then you just click them and grab them. So an assignments rubric, a uh, discussions rubric, and then that final turn paper rubric, and then you just grab them for all your classes. So I'm gonna go into one of my classes here on the left. These are classes that are out there with rubrics in them. And I need to find that good rubric that I made. So specs rubric, and then you click use this rubric. Boom, it's ready to go. And I can pretty much move on with my life. There is one setting we need to check, though. It's really important. So we're going to click on the little pencil icon in the upper right-hand corner of my new rubric. Yes, OK. And scroll down to the bottom, and you're going to see some checkboxes. So this checkbox here is what we want. We want to use this great book for the assignment grading. Rather than just having a rubric that looks cool, it's actually going to let us use it with SpeedGrader. So check that box to use rubric for assignment grading and then update rubric. It's going to come up with this pop-up screen though, because it's going to probably see that your point value in the assignment settings doesn't match the total of the rubric. So in this case, I'd rather have the 30 points from the rubric than the 10 that I just made up off the top of my head. So change it, and now we are ready to grade. So real quick, I want to show you how to do this in discussions. So I'm in discussions now. We're going to click on one of our discussions. Like assignments, we're just going to click on the title. We're not going into the edit settings. And then on that discussion topic, we should have our three dots in the upper right-hand corner. Click on that. Add a rubric is the second to last option that drops down. Add a rubric again. I don't want it so redundant. And then we have this very similar screen. So again, we could make a rubric from scratch, or we're just going to go find and reuse a rubric from the past. So now we're going to go back to assignments and we're going to show you speed grader. So I'm in assignments and I'm looking at the assignment view. In the upper right hand corner, we have speed grader. Clicking on that, it should load up SpeedGrader. And SpeedGrader will work the exact same way for discussions. So you learn it one way, it'll work in the other tool. I recommend clicking and dragging this middle bar out to give yourself some more real estate because your rubric might need it. And then we'll click View Rubric. And here's the magic. So you've taken the time and you built a good rubric. You have the student work on the left. You've run through it. And then all you need to do is click. You just click on whatever point value you think the student deserves. 
And when you reach the bottom, Canvas has already totaled the points for you and you hit save. You can scroll down more if you want to uh, apply some comments. You can do video comments or typed comments, whatever. Um, but as far as the scoring goes, you just click and it's happening for you. So it can get easier yet. We're in the Canvas mobile app now. This is on a phone or on your tablet. Imagine that you're sitting at home on the couch, relaxing, and you're just get on your phone, just with your finger tapping on the assignment. You see one student needs grading, tapping with your finger, tapping on Heather because she needs grading. You're swiping through their work, same work we saw before. Tap grades in the bottom right. It brings up the rubric that you made. Don't see all the description, but whatever. Hopefully you know what your rubric says. And then again with your finger, you're just tapping on the point values you think the work deserves. And it's totaling the grade and you're done.